Aloha. You're watching F5 On Demand. I'm Peter Silva, Technical Marketing Manager with F5, and we're here in San Francisco at the Moscone Center for the 2012 RSA Conference. If you're at the show, we're in booth 2147. Come on by to visit us. And I got Joey Pelequin joining us. Give me your hand. Thank you. <laughs> He's one of our worldwide security architects and also a mobile specialist, mobile security, mobile devices. And recently we announced a number of partnerships with some MDM vendors, mobile device management vendors. And I thought it'd be cool to get your perspective on the whole partnership and what that means to F5 and our customers. So first, what does the mobile device management vendors do? Sure, so mobile device management solutions are about uh, control, securing the devices, um, and what the real motivation is, is data security. The problem is, is that uh, you know, some mobile device management solutions, virtually all of them, are falling a little bit short of that, so we're putting more eggs in the control basket. So with a mobile device management solution, we can enforce the PIN or password on the device. Now, as you know, Peter, with uh, iOS, that enables data protection, which is software-based encryption on the device, which we absolutely need, especially in the case of loss or theft. Um, the other things we can do, we can lock the device, we can wipe the device. Um, your standard MDM controls uh, made available through APIs. Now, some other things that we can do, uh, encrypt a, an, an SD card, for example, on an Android device, which is obviously going to give us some, some security chops there. Sure. So mobile device management is really about embracing BYOD and enabling BYOD, or bring your own device, in the organization. So the benefits of using these MDM solutions are greater security for your mobile users, for your mobile fleet. And whether it be personal or an IT issued device, obviously. Absolutely, and obviously uh, all organizations are investigating BYOD because of the ROI, because of the return on investment. I mean, if you look at $400 per device, $200 per device, times 50,000 devices, that's a significant uh, amount of money. So if we can embrace BYOD and allow users like you and me to use the phone that we want, use the applications that we want, then we're more productive, we're happy, and ultimately that benefits the organization. And in terms of productivity, we, we got these things attached to us all the time. You know, in the in the olden days, five years ago, we'd you know walk away from our laptop desktop and pretty much not know we got an email, not we know connected. anything critical, you know, for the until the next morning, where now, 9.30 at night, you got something, you probably answer, you're productive. Uh, absolutely, you know, so we're sending emails, we're taking phone calls, we're texting each other, all hours of the day, we're, we're hyper productive. Uh, productive. Um, there's some studies that have recently come out that show that uh, mobile workers that are empowered through BYOD programs that are implemented successfully, 70% more productive than without these devices. Nice. So we got a little, uh, some magnets on the whiteboard. Do you want to talk a little bit through this and how it all kind of works together? Sure, so we've got strategic partnerships that we've announced with several mobile device management solutions. Generally what this is about is about access, secure access, uh, proxying exchange active sync and email, uh, providing secure access to back-end applications like SharePoint or intranet applications, things of that nature. We can do that through our Edge client or through our portal client using the Edge gateway. Okay, the beauty is that with APM or Access Policy Manager, we can connect to the mobile device management solution. So we actually perform the access, optimization of that traffic, acceleration of that traffic, so we can make those perform very, very well, much more so than without our technology. We can also extend the capability for authentication and the types of resources that you can gain access to within the organization from your mobile device. And also being able to uh, initially set up or register a new device. So somebody gets the, you know, they, they go personally buy their device, they bring it back home, being able to, the, to then get access to the corporate network without any IT involvement, right? Well, well, that's what's very interesting. So with mobile device management solutions, some of them have more visibility than others, okay? They're not all created equal. It's really about the secret sauce. That's how you differentiate between an AirWatch or a mobile iron or a Zenprise or a good. Um, generally, the core functionality is all the same. Yep. So you want to investigate the secret sauce and how that's going to help meet your requirements as a customer. Sure. Okay. So these things, you know, from a provisioning perspective, they all have over-the-air provisioning. Uh, you know, manual, automated. Uh, you can do it with a spreadsheet. All this type of thing. What you don't have with most of the solutions is the ability to tie a user to a device. Ah. Okay, and with APM, we can do that. Yep. Because we're tied into Active Directory, so we're using LDAP. We have a concept of roles. 
and we can now tie a specific user to a specific device, and we can tell what resources that they're accessing. Sweet. Yeah. And what about one-time passwords, the whole OTP stuff that's occurring now? And I log in, put my, pa my username, password, and then I get a notification on my mobile phone as, as a second factor token, right? Right, yeah, and some MDM solutions support that out of the box. In fact, OTP is really kind of part of the provisioning process for most. Um, but we can enable that with APM as well. So we can use OTPs for more than just device provisioning. We can use OTPs for uh, maybe we give Peter Silva access to a new resource. So we can use a one-time password for that. A new resource, really. <laughs> so here in the topology then, where would these guys, you know, say if, a, if an organization has a big IP already and they're looking at an MDM solution or vice versa, they have an MDM solution and they're looking at F5, to you know, uh, uh, deploy a big IP product. So, well, this is really a match made in heaven because typically your mobile device management, uh, mobile management platforms themselves, like the VSP for Mobile Iron or the ZDM for Zen, typically these devices are going to uh, reside in the DMZ anyway. And guess where big IP is? It's in front of and perhaps behind the B the DMZ. So we're in a perfect position. If you're already an F5 customer, you can license the APM module on your LTM box. Right, so like what we've got here, we've got LTM with Access Policy Manager and WAM too. So we're doing optimization, we can perform access and authentication, plus we have load balancing and the full proxy security architecture, yep. default deny on the LTM box. So you get more productive employees, happier employees because they, you know, they choose their favorite, and also much better, or much better, less stress on IT in terms of having to worry about all these devices out in the field. No question. I mean, you know, one way to look at it is you have one throat to choke. Go to APM. <laughs> choke the big IP. <laughs> so if you're looking at bring your own device, looking to explore it or already embracing it, the F5 and the MDM solutions can certainly help you get to your get to your dream deployment of mobile devices. Absolutely. If, and enable you to embrace mobility and BYOD. Right so on. You can see that productivity in your environment. Cool, very interesting stuff, Joey. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. So again, we're in San Francisco at the 2012 RSA show, booth 2147. For Joey, my camera guy, Jonathan, I'm Peter, and we're with F5.